What's up guys, this is Ferdin here. This is a tutorial on how to rig um, a skeleton, which somebody um, requested, I think this is what he means. Um, but basically it's like a model of a skeleton and you've rigged, basically rigged that. Um, now there are like, I could actually do this in two several ways actually. I can either do it on like do a tutorial on how to do it, or I can send you a rigged one. I uh, might just do both. But if you go to the window content browser, which the video is already up, I think, but at this time I'm just uploading a new video, which is going to take ages because my internet's slow as fuck. So we're now we're just waiting for the content browser to come up. All right, so here it is. I think. I can't remember where it is, so we're going to have to just like look through. Okay, it's not there. So, um, see where we can find studio character. There we go. There's a a skeleton, a rigged skeleton, which is a pretty nice one as well. Um, in the content browser, if you just go to studio character and it's CA builder. Um, you do need Studio R13, uh, R13 Studio for this, just drag and drop that in. What I could do, this is obviously rigged in the new rigging system which I'm now uploading so you can go and check that video out if you want to know how to rig like this. Um, basically it's all IK chain so you won't need to rotate anymore apart from the hands obviously. Um, but if you just grab the move tool and you move it like oh, hold on a minute. that's got yeah. There we go. Look, it's uh, easier to animate. Obviously, the hands a bit fucked up in a minute, but as you can see here, that uh, you know, you can move the hand and the elbow and shoulder follow with it. So that is how to like sort of um, that. That's a rigged skeleton, and it's a nice model as well. What I could do for you is, if you don't want to do it that way, um. I could just send you the actual skeleton itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put several um, links in the description. I'm going to do just a base skeleton model. I'm going to have this rigged version just in case you can't get the, um, the what do you call it, the, uh, uh, the content browser thing working or whatever. But you would need R13 for this obviously. Um, but what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to delete the C motion. Um, Delete the skin. Oh, it's got a hypernebs on it. What's the difference? Ah, oh, I see it. The hell of a difference. Um, but yeah. What we'll do is we'll just grab all this. Sorry, we'll grab all the weight because we don't need that. I'm just going to rig it normally. Connect and delete. And then you just delete all that. And we can stick that in a hypernerbs. Now we'll just change the subdivision editor to four. Oh, it's a bit laggy. Come on. Jeez. Oh, I'd only do that for rendering though. So if I just turn that off. There we go, fine. Um just go back to the normal rigging system. Um, let's go to joint, root null, selected, hold control, click, and you can go up each of these like sort of discs, vertebrates, I don't know what they're called, but I'm just going to go up a few, hold control, move up to about here, to here, maybe to here, here, or maybe the neck and up to the top of the head. That'll do. And we go into the side view. And we're obviously going to have to move this in a, in a bit. Um, do, 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 there we go. So we can just move that one back here. We're just going to follow it up the spine. We can just move it for this. So that should be alright. And that's pretty in place in the spine, but so that's nice. If we come down, we'll do legs next. 
we grab the joint tool, select the bottom one, check off root null, and then we shall hit symmetry, go to symmetry and draw, and we'll bring that down to. Oh, gee, oh, hmm. So we'll just bring it down to here, enter the knees, enter the feet, and then the side view. Obviously, we're going to have to move them. Uh, where are these? Both of these. Here we go. Back here, go to the next ones. Select both of them, which is both of the knees. Get them sort of here. And then go to the joint at the end so far, and we'll whack them back to the ankles. And if we go back to the joint tool, uh, this always fucks up for me, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take off symmetry. Um, and I'm just going to hold control and I'm going to follow it on to sort of like here and then the end of the toes. And then I'm going to do that with the same. Um, so that this is what happens. Don't do that actually. Um, it always goes to the center. So what I do is I just grab this one, go to like front view, and I'll just move that across and then maybe move the other one like that. Just so it's relatively in position. <laughs> Oh geez, sorry, sneezed. Sort of. Anyway, okay. Then we're going to go to the other foot and just do exactly the same here, and then the end of the toe, and then I'm going to select this one, go to front, whack that back into sort of position, and then get the end one and whack that out here so it's coming in the right sort of direction. So there is the rig. Oh, we haven't done arms yet. Actually, forgot about the arms. So we're going to come to here, and then once again, symmetry, draw, hold control, back up to the shoulders, and then come down to the elbows, and to the hand, and I'm not going to do the fingers, because that's just going to take a little bit more time, and I really CBA to do that. Um, and then we just come to the top view, we can now do the arms. So. The sh where are these? There we go. No, that's not it. These two. There we go. Now we've got the shoulders. We can just bring them back sort of to here where the shoulders are. And then we're going to go into the elbows. Once again, bring them down. Sort of elbows. And then the same with the actual wrists. You could add another bone coming from here to the rest of the hand so you can sort of like move the hand as well but I'm just going to leave it at that and this is the rigged like skeleton now I'll just drag that into the part here, just right select, and, uh, select children hold control, select that, commands bind um, and then what we could do is we could just hide the root um, you can still obviously move him in that. So there are the legs. And then this goes into the spine where we've got the arms and the neck. So if we move the neck back and forth, you've got a nice rig skeleton. But it's not going to be as advanced as the um, the new sort of rig system. Um, but what you could do is go into the arms, select all three of them from the shoulder to the wrist go to character create IK chain and if you go to the move tool that can now be moved sort of in that motion if you know what I mean so if I just rotate, rotate around bring that this way a bit you know so it's pretty nice you can create the IK chain um, but you need to select the if I just delete that and you, um, if you want to animate it, that's another thing I'll show you. Um, so we've got here. You, I wouldn't do it with two. I'd always do it with the minimum of three, like sort of bones. So I'll just select them. Character commands create IK chain. Um, and what you could do is you can create a null. Just call it controls or controllers. Drag that into the thing and call it I don't know the right arm. And if you can drag the controls into the actual um, thing itself so then it's not always like apart then you can select the right arm 
and that's what you'd move. You wouldn't need to go back into these bones and move it. Um, I don't think you can rotate them. Yeah, you can rotate them. But I wouldn't do that. That starts fucking up. You just stay in the controls and then you can, you know, do, 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 and you can. I don't know if you can rotate the hand. No, because I haven't done an extra bone. Um, going on to that. But yeah, that is how, sort of how to rig it standard style. But what I'm going to have um, is in the description link, there will be this rigged, fully rigged version, including the jaw. Obviously, it's done the jaw as well, which is quite nice. So if I just select the, I think I'll need to rotate that. Yeah, oh, that's pretty nice actually. I can do that talking. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Right. So that's a fully rigged one, which is going to have the normal um, model as well, without the actual um, C motion rig in it anyway. So we're just going to have both of those, just in case you don't have a model um, and you just want an advanced setup. So yeah, please like and comment on the video. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with another video. Peace.